All right, I think we're live. Fit, State of the Union. Oh, this camera's all screwed up. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. Fit, State of the Union. We're going to be quick here. Um, no drawn out stuff. We're going to go through tiers. At two and six, we have Dr. Salty, otherwise known as Declan. Named his team Comedy of Errors, and holy shit, was that fitting. Um, decent team, bad coaching. What else can I say about that? Um, he, he did make a good trade with same shit, different day, otherwise known as Kurt. Um, if you haven't traded with Kurt yet, you might not be alive because he trades with everybody. You just check your pulse on that one. But let's see what happens with Debo coming back. He got Thielen. He got Mostert. So Declan at two and six. It's not even that bad of a record, which is weird because everybody has shit records unless you're either named Sean or Kurt. Everybody's records are not. I'm going to go to the top tier, and it's going to be very close to the numbers in the bottom tier, <laughs> right? So everybody's humbled this year besides Sean, who's had a great year, and Kurt. But I'll, I'll go through the order. Uh, number nine is Caitlin. Her name is Hang On. Wait a minute. She is also at two and six. That's crazy to me because she has a good team. Um, she doesn't trade very much. She's not a big trade person, um, which I think is probably hurting her. Uh, she's got Kittle, Swift, Waddle, Chase, Burrow. Um, it's a head scratcher, honestly. I, I think there's something to be said for making trades and just you know, moving people on. She has these assets she could probably get stuff for and, and make some depth on her team. So we'll see. Caitlin's, she's in the mix too. I hate to say it, but... It, Number nine is in the mix. Wait till you hear these records. Fading myself, Dan Jr., three and five. That, that's not, he's not burning up the, the turf with that record. He's, he's got a good team. He was shitting all over A.J. Brown when he drafted him, I remember. And he's, he scored like 80 points in the last two games. Um, but, you know, Dan, I'm going to give you a pass, brother. Love you. You're, you're my nephew. Um, but you were shit-faced in Southie during the draft. I know because you called me right after and you wouldn't trade with me and you were just, uh, you were, you were happy. I mean, let me, let me put it that way. But like, yeah, AJ Brown, you got Hawk, you got Mike Hunt, you got AJ, you got Stafford. That's a good team. I don't care what you say. So I think you picked up Mike Hunt off uh, waivers. I don't know. But good pickup nonetheless. Uh, mid, then we go to mid tier. Seven, seven, six, and five are mid tier. What I call mid tier. Again, three and five in the mid tier. Chuck Nucks and B Bucks. Sheamus was predicted to be the best team. Uh, he went over to Thailand. He's over in Thailand. Uh, I don't know if, if that's the excuse why his team is not as good, but I think he had some injuries. Um, he's got Lamar. He's got DK. He's got Mixon. He's got J uh, Justin Jeff. Justin Jeff got hurt. That's right. Uh, he's got Kamara. He made a nice trade for Kamara. He's got Fields. Um, that's a good team. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see how uh, how it turns out for him. But that, nobody's scared of uh, anybody this year. Everybody's got really well balanced teams. I think. Um, and I'm next at six. Um, it's not a good year for Fat David Goggins. Usually, I'm trying to dominate people, and I'm not this year. I'm not. And if you tell me that I have this team. If I have Hurts, if I have Tyree Kill, D Hop, Saquon, Pollard, Devontae, Chris, uh, God Chris Wynn, if I had those players, I have Butker. Like, uh, you'd, I'd be like, I'm winning every game. And I've managed to lose games by a fraction of a point like six times. I swear to God, I'm not just making excuses. That's truly what's happening to me. I'm losing close, you know, bad beats. So I'm in the mix at three and five, though. Um, we'll see. I, I, I'm not used to this position. I need to call some people and ask them how it feels to be coming back. Um, Joe Biden's memory, Alec. He, he's got some cool players. He's got Kelsey. He's got Puka, St. B, um, Trevor Lawrence. Good team. Not, nothing scaring the hell out of you. Um, but he's in the mix. He's four and four. You know, he's, uh, he's a step better than all the teams I just mentioned. But like I said, you go on a little run here. And you could easily be in first place. Um, so top tier is four through one. It's uh, Dekalen, Joey. Um, 
I think Eckler is really going to pop off in the second half. I, I think he, he's done really nothing for Joey so far, but I, I, I think it's his time's coming. Um, he's got Herbert, he, Allen's, you know, that combination, Keenan Allen and Herbert's been a ridiculous uh, combination for him. Herbert's not even scratching the surface yet either. I think he's, he's really talented. Mandrews, you know, the biggest thing you have, Joey, going is Addison, that rookie. Um, I know he's benefited more, but he was doing good when Justin Jefferson was around. So that that's an I don't know if you picked him off waivers or what, but you're you're sitting pretty at four and four. Um, it's a nice little team. Uh, Ed, this is probably the best team you've had in fit. I don't know last because <laughs> you're good in most of your leagues. I've been in with you, but in fit for some reason you bang your head against the wall. Not this year. You're five and three. Patty, you have Pat Mahomes, but he's. He's kind of shit this year, to be honest. Um, and that that won't stay that way, by the way. He gets better as the year goes on. Um, Cooper Cup, obviously back. He's nice. But you had a little, like, guys like Tank Dell out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> like who, who the hell is that guy? He's done good for you. Um, who else you got? You got, you got, a, you got a nice team. And I, I think you're, you'll be a team to beat late push, for sure. Best team in the league is Sean's. I don't care, you know, I know he's number two, but Tua, Olave, Garrett Wilson, Laporta has been amazing. He's, I mean, he's better than Kelsey. Uh, ETN, ridiculous. I didn't even say CMC yet. This is the best team, period. I don't care if you're in first place, Kurt. I'll talk about you next, but I mean, my team sounds better than that team, actually, but I'm not, I'm not doing what Sean's doing. Sean's seven and one. So that, that's the best team in my mind. And, and Kurt, I'll go to the number one spot. Same shit, different day. Kurt is new to the league. He um, he came in making trades like a like a high school cheerleader that's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> what, uh, like at an sync concert or something. Like, woo Like, uh, he, the kid couldn't calm down. He was trading everybody. Like, Jesus Christ, calm down. And the trades you're making are stupid, I thought. But no, they're all working out. Everything's working out. You, he makes a trade and you laugh at it. We all laughed at it. Everything's working for him. So I don't know. Maybe maybe people are smart not trading with him. Because everything seems to work out. But Kurt, I'll give you this. And I've already told you this to your face. You have someone has a good week and you want to pick them up. Someone has a bad week and you want to you want to trade them. That's that's not a recipe for success. I know you're seven and one, and it's mostly because of Allen and Diggs. You just traded for Gibbs. If Montgomery comes back, that's going to blow up in your face. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, you. I mean, you're guaranteed to probably make the playoffs with this record. But you you got to calm down, man. Get those cheerleader vibes, and uh, you know, simmer down now. But yeah, that's the that's the mid tier that's the, uh, the midterm report state of the union for fit. It's actually a fun year, I, and part of that is Kurt. You you are making it fun. I know I'm busting your balls here, but you are making it fun doing trades, and uh, you know that that's what makes this fun. So the trade deadline is right before Thanksgiving. You guys get your trades in there, man. Makes everybody's got a chance in this league. I'm, I'm thinking of who doesn't have a chance. Actually, I'm going to take that back. Declan, you have no chance. I was going to drop the F-bomb. There's no need for that. You have no chance, Declan. Your coaching has been... Uh, I'm going to give you a pass because you're, you're going through academy stuff, and I get it. But Anyway, that's it, guys. Fit, midterm report, State of the Union. Love you guys, and I will check you later. All right, peace out.